To fly the B-52, an airman must go through long and costly training to become qualified. But the plans and programs flight at the 11th Bomb Squadron have revolutionized how formal training units receive training. Basically what we did is we took the initial qualification training syllabus for all students, pilots, weapon systems officers, and electronic warfare officers. And we took it just onto the bare bones and rebuilt it from the ground up. So the big changes that we've made is we went from an 18 sortie syllabus to a 13 sortie syllabus. So we're trying to create a better product with less time and resources. We added a bunch of simulators to supplement the sorties. Now it's more structured. We take an independent simulator and then we go into an integrated simulator. So all the crew members together as one, they're practicing and then they actually go and they fly the sortie. In the past, it was kind of a fire hose on the students. We'd teach them everything all at the same time. We'd teach them how to fly the jet, how to drop the weapons, how to integrate with command and control, how to integrate with players on the ground, how to integrate with other aircraft. So now we're, we're stripping that down to the bare bones and we are utilizing our, our non-flying resources to the max extent possible. Reporting from Barksdale Air Force Base, I'm Airman First Class Gabriel Stewart.